Hey guys, welcome to The Gun Shot with me, Johnny. Today, we're gonna to be looking at this, the Hanel Jaeger 10 Timber LX. So starting at the back here, we have this really very hard butt plate. It's not hand fitted to the wood or anything, but the fit isn't too bad at all. Moving on, we get to the really exciting bit about this gun, and that is this, a grade four hand finished, oil finished stock. Uh, you have a large right hand part of cheeks, cheek piece, um, although we do honestly start to see some of where this gun isn't that expensive in the finish of that cheek piece is very rounded. However, you take that out of context, it's fine. No edges means no big bashes. I suppose that's the positive side here, which still keeps it as somewhat of a working rifle, even though it's stunning. It comes fitted with sling swivels on the back and front. However, obviously you can take these out and put your own ones in if you want. The grip has a mo probably one of the nicer palm swells I've ever felt, and the whole dimension is really very nice. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is perhaps a slightly higher cheek piece just to get a slightly better cheek weld for a larger optic. However, with anything up to a 42, it's absolutely fine. Moving on past this palm swell grip with the laser cut checkering, we move into the trigger. The trigger is optional here. You have A, a single stage, or B, push forward, single set. The bolt handle has a lovely piece of walnut on it as well, so it's kind of just a nice little feature. At this point, I'll say bear in mind this rifle is only 1,500 quid. That's quite reasonable, actually, isn't it? 1,500 pound for a grade four wood rifle, wood bolt that works with a really nice smooth bolt throw. That's not bad at all, is it? That's not bad at all. Safety catch, three stage, much like a Seiko, you press this button at the front and the bolt will open. Or safety off and it will cycle. The bolt is removed via this little piece on the end here and the bolt comes out showing the six lug head. On the top of the action, you'll see you have all these little blanked off screws you can pull out these blanks and this will take an array of bases, but it's the same fitment as a Remington 700, so you're not gonna struggle to find a base for it, are you? On the back of the bolt, you have a little cocking indicator, so that's cocked and that's decocked. So it's a nice little way of just telling what's going on. The magazine in this one is a three plus one. This is a 243, obviously there's a lot of calibers available. The three plus one magazine is available on the 243, the 270, the 3006, the 308, the 6555, and a couple of others. In terms of magnums, they do do a seven mil rem mag and a 300 win mag, but that is only available with a two plus one magazine. A 223 is also available, and that comes with a four plus one magazine. If you really want, in the 308, and hence the 243, you can get a, a mag, it's a little bit of conversion, but you can get a 10 shot mag if you really want it. That again, just goes in really very simply like that. And it's this ambidextrous wing release on the back there. Big fan of that actually, very, very nice. However, as I've said in the past, if it was mine, I'd cut one side off just to make it a little bit less likely to catch. Plus, I'm only ever really gonna do it with my right hand, do it with your left hand, although it will take some using. I don't know, I'll say that. I'll take all that back. I'll probably leave as it is because it's too nice to start tampering. Moving on from the action, we have a 17, we have a slightly tapered down to 17 mil barrel, which is screw cut in 15 by one. It's got this lovely gloss Ilaflon finish, but in reality just looks like a very nice finished gloss black. However, will be significantly harder than your standard blacking. I don't have a lot bad to say about this rifle actually. It's got a lot of beautiful classic looks, all come with beautiful wood. The pass well and everything about it just makes for a very luxurious feeling gun. The only thing I might want to do personally is just move this full end tip back an inch and a half just to make the whole thing a little bit more compact looking. The barrel of standard is 560 mil, however there's a 610 mil in the magnums available. This rifle without any adornments is just under seven pounds, so it's not particularly heavy. Obviously, if you really want it as well, you can have open sights which is quite a nice thing. I really like the look of this rifle. It seems that like the, the blend between the metal, the plastic trigger plate, the wood, all goes really well, and all for a price that's quite attainable. Obviously, it's not entirely perfect. The bolt and the design of the bolt on the Jaeger 10s 
is a little bit noisy. You've got that little click stage. But, you know, that's not the end of the world. These things do bed in and it will get a little bit quieter over time. Overall length is uh, over a meter. It's 1.1 meters, which is fairly long. And that's my only other qualm is that it is quite a long gun, especially when you take a moderator into consideration. Maybe it would have been nice to just to see it with a little shorter barrel. But, you know, have it short and screw cut if that really does bother you, and I suppose that's probably somewhere along the lines that I would do as well. You could probably pick holes in it for days. It would be nice to see a metal floor plate. It would be like nice to see this sharpened up a bit, maybe put a double fold in it and such, but then suddenly the price would be very expensive. Not that the gun wouldn't warrant it, of course. These guns are obviously supplied with a sub-MOA accuracy guarantee, and they will fulfill it. They will fulfill it. In terms of the trigger, the standard trigger is adjustable uh, from two to five pounds, and it works. It does work. It is a... I was going to say it's top of the bottom gun. It is a very, very good looking gun. It's probably one of the best looking, nicest handling wooden guns out there. For, definitely for, for the price. And there's a lot of features for that price. And I suppose that's the thing to bear in mind. Is that I could probably pick holes in this for a very long time. But given that it's £1,500. And it comes with a lot of really nice features. I'm not going to. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye. And we'll see you next time.